What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And today I don't have work because a water main broke so like 20% of the city doesn't have water so a bunch of things are shut down. So what better time to work on the tank because I got nothing else to do. Well I guess I do have this little guy down here. Say hi Spencer. Yeah. Ha! Daddy duty time. Now if you watched the last video, you know that I'm dealing with a bunch of cyano and green hair algae. And the guys at Brightwell gave this to me due to me having some issues and I talked about the marine pure brick or the, sorry, the bio export brick from uh, Brightwell and they said this would help the tank. So it's early morning on the reef and you can kind of see, yeah, got some green going on, got a little bit of red cyano, it always dies down in the morning when the lights are off, but it's definitely there. So we need to take care of this ASAP. Spencer, how do you feel about daddy's fish tank? It looks kind of ugly right now. Dad, everything you've done has not worked. So you need to come up with a new solution and explain to them why you're using this as opposed to Kimmy Clean. Good idea, Spencer. So I was listening to, obviously I'm always listening to Reef Bum and all of his guests, but a guy from Brightwell was on there and I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But he was saying, you know, when you use Kimmy Clean, it is like an antibiotic. It treats the symptoms of it and wipes it out, but it doesn't treat the cause. So he was saying that if you really want to treat the cause of what's going on in your reef and why you have cyanide and why you have some of that greenish algae coming up, you need to use their products. So let's see if their products work. So after listening to the difference between Clean versus MB7 from Brightwell, the Clean, which is what I have right here, a full bottle of, is what you need to use when you have those green algaes and you know any of that detritus that's kind of built up. But the MB7 apparently does better for like your cyanos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use most of the clean for like, I think I'm gonna use most of this bottle actually for about a week straight and then start dosing MB7 and see if any of those algaes come down and the cyanos go away because you know we've spent a lot of time dealing with high phosphates and I finally got them down to where I want them to be. So now that the system's imbalanced with the nitrate and phosphate ratio, we're going to be doing more of a bacterial approach to see how that works versus ChemiClean and then I'll let you guys know if this is something that you would want to pursue as opposed to using ChemiClean in the future. All right, so this says you have to use 20 milliliters per 25 gallons weekly. If it's a normal tank. If it's not a normal tank, I gotta use 30 milliliters per 25 gallons for the initial dose, then five milliliters per gallon for 25 gallons after that daily. That's a lot. All right, so after doing the math and crunching the numbers, if I use this weekly, it's 180 milliliters weekly or 270 milliliters initial dose and then 45 milliliters daily after that. That would give me about a week's worth with this 500 milliliter bottle based off my 220 gallon-ish system. So let's just go ham and do their recommended and do the max dose and see what happens after a week. I think that's probably gonna be the best bet. It's always a good thing to have graduated cylinder on hand and you wanna make sure that you uh, turn off the protein skimmer and UV sterilizer and remove filter socks for up to four hours after you dose this. So let me go cut off the protein skimmer and take out a filter sock and we'll dose this. One filter sock is out and the pump is off. So we're good to dose. Always make sure you start a timer. I'm gonna start a four hour timer right now. 100. 200 and 70. All right, I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of before and after, so that way we can kind of see what it looks like. Definitely this area. All right, I'll be back in about a week, see what the results are, and let you know if this has worked. Before dosing and be clean, a day later after the initial dose and the 45 milliliter dose. Day three. Day four. Day five. Before dosing MB clean. A day later after the initial dose and the 45 milliliter dose. This looks horrible. Day three. Day four. Day five. Before dosing MB clean. A day later after the initial dose and 45 milliliter dose. Day three. Day four. Day five. 
before dosing and be clean. A day later after the initial dose and 45 milliliter dose. Day three. Day four. Day five. On a scale of one to 10, how bad is all this cyano getting now that I'm doing MB clean? All right guys, it is day six of dosing MB clean and it is not doing anything. The cyano has actually gotten significantly worse and I just don't think I can take it anymore. I had to blow some stuff off the rock. It was starting to get on my corals and yeah, it's making it way, way worse. So I think I'm gonna stop dosing MB clean. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying it has actually exacerbated this red cyano, which I barely had any to begin with. And now it's just kind of completely taken off and my corals are really upset. And it's supposed to do something with uh, like your little algaes, but my algae is actually worse than it was before. So you said it, Spencer. Is right. Was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. So... Uh, I think I'm gonna hit this with Kimmy Clean and call it a day because I'm getting tired of looking at this. I do not want to keep this experiment going and the corals are looking not bad, but I mean, look at that. It's getting covered. And the more it's getting covered, the more detrimental it is to the corals, especially one that was already struggling. So here's the plan. I'm gonna knock it back with Kimmy Clean, follow the directions. You've seen me do Kimmy Clean a bunch of times. And I don't know, Kimmy Clean's not supposed to affect the nitrifying bacteria. I don't know if it affects other forms of bacteria. My plan is to stop doing MB uh, clean. I'm gonna give it a day or two, and then I'm going to hit it with Kimmy Clean and get this stuff out of the system because I am so done with looking at cyano for like this amount of time. It's insane. It's gotten exponentially worse as you can see by the time-lapse video. So I'll be back at you in a couple days after I dose Kimmy Clean and do a water change and get this all out of the system. I'll give it tomorrow to flush it out and then do Kimmy Clean. Day seven and the Sayano is now on the rocks. It has left the sand bed, has now gotten on the rocks. So let's Kimmy Clean this. I gotta turn my skimmer, put my, uh, where is it? The little nozzle to the skimmer. Put this in the sump that way because it's going to overflow and take out my carbon and then we will get started. Look at that, just nastiness. All right, so now I have increased the aeration in the tank. <laughs> and Daniel, are you upset? You don't like that the tank looks like that? How are you feeling about this whole situation, Daniel? Are you liking this? No. He's like mesmerized. He's like, what's going on with the tank? Yeah, I don't know. He's upset. Say, I'm upset. Yeah, me too. I'm upset too. This is only 20 hours after dosing Kimmy Clean, not even full 24 hours. And it is night and day different in the tank. Pretty crazy. And 48 hours later, this tank, after using Kimmy Clean, is looking amazing. All that MB Clean stuff did nothing compared to Kimmy Clean. And you can kind of see the same bed is super white pretty much the whitest it's been in months so i don't know why i didn't do it earlier i thought i could use kimmy or not kimmy clean mb clean and it just didn't work the way i thought it would so time for a water change and then changing out carbon and then we'll wrap this video up i hate doing water it's like eight o'clock at night i don't want to do this but i got to because it's the middle of the week all right guys you can kind of see cleaned up the sand bed Tank's coming back on, it's making some gurgling, I'm gonna have to adjust it, but everything is looking good. Deep clean of the sand bed and picked up some more poop, but everything is rocking on the reef now. It's a little upset because it just had a water change. So let's summarize what has happened with this tank and I'll give you my impressions on the MB Clean. So this is the way I, you know, conceptualize MB Clean versus Kimmy Clean. Clean is more of an antibiotic. If you have something going on in your tank, like cyano, it is definitely the way to go because cyano is already there. It's going to knock it out, get you over that hump real quick, as opposed to waiting it out. I see MB7 as more of like a probiotic. So this kind of helps your microbiome, or well, the bacteria, as opposed to your microbiome in your gut. It helps the bacteria in your tank to fight off if any of that 
you know, green hair algae, the green algaes, any of the cyano are coming. For me, I mostly used it not for the cyano, but to get some of that green algae. And you saw it was kind of like over here and on the other side in the corners. And I was hoping to see it diminish, but as you see on those videos, it did not diminish at all and it just kicked the cyano into high gear. I do know that they said that, you know, um, the MB7 would kind of clear up some cyano, and this was Jack Ken I was listening to talking about this. I don't know, I mean, I've been dosing MB7 on and off for a while and I still got cyano. I didn't get to dose it this time because of me dosing MB clean and it just made things worse. And in my opinion, if you're dosing bacteria, the bacteria should populate in your tank and it should take over in your tank. You shouldn't have to constantly dose it. You should dose it a couple times when it's getting low or, you know, dose it initially and it should be able to manage on its own. If you have to keep dosing it, I almost feel like, well, they're probably selling you a product as opposed to something that's a solution. Now, I am not an expert in the microbiology of bacteria nor of the microbiology of reef tanks. I think there's only a handful of people that are. I can only share with you my experience. And MB Clean, I gotta say, is MB Clean really worth it? Probably not, in my opinion. If you wanna dose bacteria, dose bacteria, go ahead. I would stick with their, you know, their Start XLM, and that's how I cycled my tank, and it worked really well for that. And I know it got nitrifying bacteria in there. And once you do it, you don't have to do it again, which kind of is like the purpose of bacteria. Once you get it established, it should continue it on its own. But in the future, I don't know if I'm ever going to buy Microbacter 7 or Microbacter Clean for my tank. You know, the 200 gallons rock and roll, I don't need any more bacteria. I'm kind of on the Jake Adams perspective of once you have it in there, it should stay in there. And you have to keep dosing it, and it's not worth it. So this would be something for newer tanks. You know, after you do the start or XLM, get it going and then dose Microbacter 7 or clean later on to get more strains of bacteria in there after it's stabilized, keyword after it's stabilized. But that has been my journey. I noticed some cyano. I realized that there were nitrate and phosphate imbalances. I corrected those nitrate and phosphate imbalances. Then I tried to, um, you know, do a more of a biological means to control the cyano, which had gotten out of control, and it got even more out of control when I dosed the bacteria, which kind of uh, mirrored Mark Vanderwall's talk during reef therapy, and that's kind of what I noticed with my tank too, so I don't know if any of you guys have seen that, where dosing bacteria actually made cyano worse, but that's probably what's happening. So guys, if you like what you see here, and you wanna see more, and you like these reviews and these journeys that I'm going on, because this video series has taken a left-hand turn, and I don't even know where it ended up, but I hope it's ended with a clean tank. I might do a video updating you a couple weeks down the road to see if everything is still solid in the reef, but until then, guys, I will see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, comment below, and let me know how you like this video. And as always, I will see you later.